You are now watching your mans in them live. live, live. You are now rocking with your mans in them live. Will Smith's apology. Yes. Recently, Will Smith came out uh, with a apology video to Chris Rock. Did y'all see it? Yes. What do you think about it? Do you think it was sincere? First of all, the way you worded that is crazy. What? It did not seem like it was directly a uh, apology for Chris Rock. You he was it? doing something. He was doing a Q&A. And he read a question, mm -hmm. and then he responded. His intention for that video was not to sit there and apologize to Chris Rock. You, you're talking about, wait, he sat down and he read a bunch of questions that had to do with the incident. That's what it was? The yeah. video's on your phone. Yeah. So so he was. sat down and had a whole video, just question and that's a weird way the to apologize to see somebody. It? I saw the clip. I didn't see the whole thing. I don't know what it was about, but he, I saw him read a question and then he responded and apologized. Yeah, he read it was a bunch of questions about that, about the situation. Like how like how did it make you, you know That's a weird way I mean, to you do could an play apology. The video. That's on your phone. Where is it? On your phone. You just sent it? That's not a weird way to do a public apology. Um, I think he just wanted to address it. I'm not going to play the video because the video is long as fuck. I think what I think about... He just wanted you, to address the, the thing. I think that... All right. Here's what I'm going to say. Say it. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk, and when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk um, I, was, I want to apologize to Chris's mother I saw an interview that Chris's mother did why didn't you apologize to even the fact that he's saying that he reached out and Chris and Chris didn't, wasn't ready to talk I feel like you don't need to say that mm-hmm like that's to me that's like a form of um that's obvious what's that shit called like it almost felt like a virtue signal like oh yeah i reached out but they don't of course the nigga don't want to talk to you like you smacked him in front of fucking millions of people watching like of course it's like he he's deflecting like niggas in, right. niggas in japan seen that shit exactly they had the full <laughs> video they had the real video yeah they had the real video uncensored um i don't know i just think things like that should happen behind the, the scenes, scenes yeah, you should you should do this behind the scenes we don't need you to to come out and tell everybody that you you try to reach out like it's not about us nigga it's about the fact that you smacked this man and possibly put a stain on his career for the rest of his life a stain on whose career here's the thing though here's the thing this wait how how do you put a stain on chris rock career yeah because he bitched them in in front of it the world that doesn't put a stain on your career. I think it does. That puts a stain on Will Smith's career. I don't it think puts it a stain on both. More so for Will Smith. But if you're as a man, if someone came on stage and smacked you and you didn't do anything about it, how would you feel? I'm a victim. I'm gonna play into that card. I'm gonna lean into it. <laughs> They're gonna feel bad for me. I'm a victim. And you, now you're a victim. Now, before you was just Chris Rock. Now you Chris Rock the victim. Now you the nigga that got smacked. You're Chris Rock, the guy who got smacked by Will Smith. Yes. On oh. live TV. You got smacked by... That's a tarnish. That's well, a guess who's going to be, be getting paid to show up to all the war shows? Me. Guess who's going to be selling out tickets to my concert? Me. Yeah, but still, as who, a man. As a man, I'm going to be rich. Okay. At the end of the day, we don't know how Chris feels about what that did with his self-esteem or whatever. I, here's what I do know. We listened to that apology... To me, I feel like um, when you understand psychology. Here we go. When I say psychology, I'm just saying like when you understand like like so what he did, right? Mm -hmm. He's saying that he's sorry. Um, and that's how he's playing. And some people would say he's playing victim now. A victim to himself. Yeah, I agree. 
So he's kind of like, it's like someone can say, where's the account- accountability for those actions? You're separating it. And which is what I do sometimes, you know, but you not, you can't do that. Like, I remember being there, you know, when I'm in a relationship and I do something wrong or whatever like that, I look at things in hindsight. Mm-hmm. So I'm speaking about it like it's not myself. <laughs> yeah, I see I'm saying like, okay, yo, I it was definitely wrong of me doing. That. I should never did that. I can see how I was in the right state of mind. So that right there, kind of like, okay, you could say I'm being dismissive of myself. Right. So from from the apology, you could feel like, okay, he may be dismissive. He may not be taking ownership of it, and you mm-hmm. can see you can see that he feels sorry. Yeah. And he's trying to reach out. That nigga probably not getting no jobs. I looked at the comments. I, mean, he, he I look at the hold on, I looked at the comments of the video and I seen people like, yo, like they kinda getting at Chris Rock, like, yo, he's sorry, let it y'all be cool again. That's that was that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That feels like the point of all of this. To get people on your side to make them feel another thing that he said was that he's trying to I can't I don't know word for word, but he's it was something like I'm he, trying to, to for, he's trying to something himself without without being sh- ashamed, ashamed without yeah. feeling shamed. And I think there's nothing wrong with feeling shame. What is it forgive himself without being ashamed or Yeah, something yeah. like that. It just seemed like a little bit like you wasn't really taking full like you gotta feel that. You know? Yeah, you slapped the nigga on the stage. Exactly. And if you, you did he, how you think he felt on TV. His you should feel worse than he felt. And also like own up to it. Mm. I don't. I don't. Like I said, I'm. I don't notice it when I'm doing it, but when I'm real, I get analytical. When I'm analyzing myself, I, I take myself out of the situation. And I'm analyzing like it's somebody else. So I'm like, it's it's like it sounds like I'm saying somebody else slapped them instead of me saying I slapped them. It's like yeah. okay, oh, like I'm separating. Like cause yeah, I'm, in, I'm being analyzed. I'm, I mean, I'm being analytical, and I'm like. You know, yeah, I think you're probably get no get Let me read some yeah. of these comments and we can move on. Um, Love Lavender said it's not about us, but at the same time, it is. There we was, all ha- there was, huh? There was a a comic pertaining before. Uh, oh, Francis Johnson mm-hmm. says you guys don't think it was all scripted. Um, are you talking about the actual smack, or are you just talking about Will Smith's apology? I think he's talking about the apology. Um, the apology could have very well been scripted. I don't know. Will Smith is an actor. It is scripted. You think so? Yeah, he sat down to talk about it specifically. Yeah, but it could have been. Like, he knew he knew that they knew lights, camera, action, we're going to talk about, you're going to apologize. Right. You but think he just walked in and was like, uh. Nah, but they could have said, hey, we're going to have some questions for you. Yeah, that could have been. Clip the clip he, I just looked at the clip he put on his YouTube page, and it starts off by saying that I've been absent. You guys had questions. He sat down. That was the first question. Okay. A lot of these niggas got this shit scripted. Let yeah. me read. A lot of these Halloween. It's his Hollywood, PR Hollywood, team because yeah. he ain't getting no jobs because he slapped somebody. He, <laughs> Love is, Lavender says, it's not about us, but at the same time it is. We all had to watch him interrupt an entire show. I can only imagine how embarrassed Chris must have felt. Yeah, his apology should be to Chris first and foremost, but secondly, he should apologize that everyone had to watch him do that. You don't just get to assault someone like that and just get away with it. As his fans, we need to know he's trying to med- uh, to mediate and learn from the situation. Absolutely, he's crying wolf. Like, oh, I tried to say sorry, but he wouldn't let me. Don't act like the victim when you're the one who caused the situation. I am going to... Um, Francis I'm Johnson to, says the smack, not the... Uh, I don't think the smack yeah, was Yeah, I think the smack scripted. was real. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to... I'm going to disagree with Love Lavender. This has nothing to do with us. This is between Will Smith, Chris Rock, and the choices Will Smith made. As spectators, that's all we are, spectators. I wasn't even watching at that the end shit. Of the, exactly. I never even watched that but shit. At, at the end honest. of the day, you ended up, you never saw it. Never. Never saw it. But it, it hit many of screens because of the moment. And, and, because of the moment that happened. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was shocked. It was like, oh shit, this happened. But it wasn't like, you know, I, you know, me personally felt anything because he did that. That had nothing yeah. to do with me. I didn't feel embarrassed because Will Smith smacked somebody. I didn't feel pain because Chris Rock got hit. It has nothing to do with me. I don't feel bad for the show. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. It has nothing to do with me. Now, if Will Smith 
if you ever seen the episode of Fresh Prince where his father left, if he would have did that shit, then I would be like, oh, that's <laughs> real. That he. Don't tell me you don't remember the episode. Oh, you talking about on camera? If he did some, okay. Okay, I didn't think about it. My bad. Just ruin my moment. I did Anyways, have a question. Can comment, you... man. Shout out to jo- Big Joe. She says late, but I'm here. Hey guys, you're late. Where you been? Comment, man. I wanted to ask you guys, what, what? apology would you accept if you were slapped? If you were in Qu- Chris Rock's shoes, if you can imagine it, what kind of apology would you? We want? gotta fight. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. We have to fight. Okay. I'm not gonna fight you on stage, but we gonna go. No, we gotta throw on some gloves and we gotta fight. No, nah, we gonna go backstage. Yo, yo, let me talk to you real quick. But that's if you could fight. Yeah, Chris Rock don't As a like man, <laughs> regardless, you still have to fight. Will Smith is was, was Ali. Like, yeah, he was Ali, bro. <laughs> Twenty years ago, Chris Rock was Pookie. You're gonna get smacked worse than you. Twenty did. years ago in New Jack, you're gonna get smacked worse than I, you did. I, if you come see me, I can respect you. Come see me. Figure it out. I'm not gonna make it easy for you. Yeah, come see me. But come see me with a check. Uh, Melody says, "I also heard there are talks of another bad boy movie. We'll need to let go of Jada." Wait, what? That was a lot. I think she maybe she's talking about um promotion. I don't know. Like the smack being promotion for a bad boy movie. Uh what nigga bad bad boys club? <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're doing bad boys what four? It's four now? Shout out to the family that been down with your man's in a